What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every one of y'all, is having a blessed day today, man. Happy Sunday to everybody. I hope y'all having a good one. Today, we finna get into a sneaker unboxing. Uh, I just ordered this shoe a few days ago. We finally got here. I want to do the unboxing. It's a clean shoe. It's a dope shoe, in my humble opinion. Um, Sorry about the background. I got boxes stacked up, man. I've been buying these shoes. You buy a lot of shoes and you run out of space to put them. Sometimes it pile up. I am going to straighten that up back there. My bad, my fault for the background. Your boy be working and your boy be trying to get these videos up. So, my apologies. We'll get it together, man. Real quick, shout out to my wife for the Father's Day gift she gave me. And it's on my wrist. Close up. So, this watch my wife gave me for Father's Day is made by this company called Tally and & Twine. And it's a dope company. It's a dope watch. I'm talking about so quality, ridiculously fire, in my humble opinion. If you can see it, it actually says Tally and Twine right there. I don't know if y'all can see it. But this watch is hot, man. Like, I'm really digging this thing. Wifey hit me with it out the blue. It was like, it came in the, it came, uh, she got it shipped and it didn't come to after Father's Day. And I was like, babe, that's a fine gift. Thank you to the wifey. She won't tell me how much she paid for it, but check Tally and Twine out. They don't sponsor this video no kind of way. I don't have no links right now. But just Google Tally and Twine if you're into watches. Fire, in my humble opinion. And shout out to my guys at Cuzzo Clothing Company. Hook me up with this shirt right here. I think it's fire. It got the Virgil vibes going on, but it ain't, though. It's that Cuzzo Clothing Company. They also sent me a few more shirts. I just opened a pack, threw this shirt on, and I was like, you know what? Let me show what else they sent me because I haven't seen it yet. We also got, oh, this is fire right here. Let's say first, it says Integrity uh, FC24 Never Brand Wash. Never brand washed. I like that. Not brainwash, brand wash. Uh Cuzzo Denim Company. Never brand washed. I like that. Brand washed. I like that. That's fire right there. And then they gave me a bag inside of a bag. I love that packaging too. They got like some of the dopest packaging, man. But then they gave me a bag inside of a bag. You feel me? Mo goodies. Let's see what we got. Um, and I do have a discount code for Cuzzo. It's Mike Rich. Uh, how much? You, how many percentages you get off of Mike Rich? Is it 20? I think it's... I, I want to say it's 20. It might be 30%. I can't remember right now. It's been a minute since I looked at my discount code with them. I know I got one, though. Also got the tea game. Woo! Okay, they sent me a few teas. Got the Cuzzo. Ooh! The design action is fine. This actually will go super dope with the sneaker that I'm about to unbox right now. And they and they t-shirts, I love the way they shirts fit. I like the quality. And as you can see, your boy, and I got a little, I don't gain a couple of pounds. I ain't gonna cap, but the shirt still give me that slender athletic fit. You know what I'm saying? I really like the way the shirts fit on, on your boy. Also got the other T right here, which is the red and blue joint. I got I got a, I think I got a hoodie from them or a sweatshirt like this from them too. But that's a dope color as well. You already know the red and blue go with a lot of the kicks your boy got hanging going on. Uh what else we got? What else we got? And then I have the red um, uh, brand wash joint. It was just like the uh, blue one, but it had the red one. The brand wash. Don't be brand washed, man. Fire. Fire. You already know the black and red vibes going to be here. Or the red and black or whatever you want to say. And then, that, last but not least, I got the hat. I got the hat. So I got the I got the Cuzzo snap right here. It is the red and blue, like the navy blue as well. So dope snapback action going on. I will be rocking all of these clothing items. Once again, shout out to my guys over at Cuzzo Clothing Company. Use my code Mike Rich and get at least 20%. It might be 30. I have a look at my DMs. I didn't I wasn't prepared for that because when I did this unboxing, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and show these clothes since I'm gonna rock one of the shirts. But I forgot. It's Mike Rich for 20 or 30% off. You're gonna get you're gonna get a good price by using my code Mike Rich. You feel me? So let's go ahead and get into the shoe. Gotta move a little bit closer on y'all to get to the shoe, man. Cause we finna we finna dissect these things. And if y'all stick around to the end of the video, we might as well do our own feet. The main reason I want to do our own feet on these, y'all like Rich, you don't never do our own feet no more. It take a lot of time. Today is Sunday. I got time to do the on feet. It's like 100 and some degrees outside. I just want to see what the shoe like on feet. Plus, I want to see how they fit because this shoe has historically the newer uh, 
shoes like this has historically fit a little tight and I bought my true size. I also went a size up and I bought two pair, but uh, finish line canceled the, the bigger size. So I actually had to call them because it was still processing after like five days and I was going to tell them to cancel it, but I didn't tell them to cancel it because they was going, they didn't have no more anyway. They said the reason it's still processing because it's out of stock. I'm like, why the hell y'all let me order it if it's out of stock? Finish line, what the hell y'all doing? But anyway, Open this box. It's glue on this side, so I'm gonna open this box with these hands. Monstrous hands. Oh, oh, what we got? Y'all see that box? You do not have not seen one of these boxes be unboxed by your boy Rich. And um this year period, you have not seen one of these boxes. So I'm gonna do a thumbnail and keep it vague a little bit. So some people might know what it is, and some people might not know what it is. There go my thumbnail right there. Hey. Sneakers, but you know, hey, LeBron's man, don't click on the video because I know people are like that's a LeBron uh, 17 box. We know what LeBron 17 look like, it's a basketball shoe, it's that knitted shoe. But I know, but these right here, though, but these right here, though, yeah, man, they're going here to see what they looking like, bro. Let's do it, no more talking. <laughs> and there they is, bye, there they is. These are fire, Shawty. Now these, hey, these, man, see, you really can't do basketball shoes casually, not the newer basketball shoe, but they hit us with some of that old school swag on them, man. Bow! The LeBron 17 graffiti joints, bro. These is hard, man. Clank, clank, clean stamp of approval. LeBron 17 graffitis. Now, honestly, I'm about to catch a lot of flack for my next sentence. I am. I know I'm about to catch flack for it, but I like these better than the LeBron 4 graffitis. This shoe is based off of the Le LeBron 4 graffitis. My whole thing about the LeBron 4 in general is that it was just the bulkiest, dumbest, fattest, foam positive looking shoe. And I know people like it. It got history. And stuff like that is one of the older LeBrons, but I, I when when old LeBron fours came out, I wasn't rocking LeBrons anyway. But I hated the because this it still has like the foam part, but this part right here with the graffiti like that goes around that like this foamish or uh, hard kind of material right here, this rub whatever you want to call it, it's fat as hell on the LeBron four. It looks so big, chunky, and bulky on the LeBron four. I like it because they put it on this knitted LeBron seventeen upper. I'm not the hugest fan of the LeBron 17, but combined with the with the LeBron 4 and LeBron 17 kind of fused together. Because a lot of times when they do the LeBrons, uh, the new LeBrons, and put the old kind of vibes on them, it still looked like that LeBron. They, it's still like a, they're like this was still like a LeBron 17. Back in the day, they wouldn't even just put the actual hard positive material. They would just make the graffiti print over the knit back in the day if they would do like a shoe, a throwback shoe that looked like an old shoe. They'll just put the print over it. Like the whole shoe would still be knitted like this, but they'll just put this graffiti print over it. I'm glad they didn't do that. They actually gave us the actual material right here. And to me, it looks a whole lot sleeker on a LeBron 17 as opposed to a LeBron 4. I know I'm supposed to be an OG and I like all the stuff that came out first, but I actually like this rendition of the LeBron graffiti better, the 17. It's a well put together shoe, man. So like I said, you have that on um, I want to call it posit, but it's like harder than a posit. This this material right here is super hard. Um, on the side of it with the, the graffiti going on, you got your regular LeBron 17 upper with the battle knit or whatever you want to call that. You got your LeBron 4 strap with the Nike swoosh right here going around to the other side. In the middle right here, you got that metal. At first, I thought this was plastic, but this is an actual metal uh, old school LeBron logo from the LeBron 4s. The strap goes around to the other side right here. You got your little dots going on. Like I said, I wasn't even crazy about the LeBron 4, but this right here, I like the way this shoe look. Goes all the way to the back. All of this looks just like the LeBron 4, but it's it's, it's kind of condensed a little bit. It's kind of brought in a little bit. It ain't as fat to me, in my opinion. Um, then you bring that thing back around to the other side, man. So, got your, uh, got these little, little strap things right here. The elastics right here going on on each. And I think that was on the LeBron 4. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I never held a LeBron 4 in hands. But they got the little strap, little uh, elastic straps going on right there. Uh, LeBron's uh, number 23 right here. And then under the straps, you have the, um, 
the 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 uh the lion logo, the king, the king of the jungle, lion, LeBron Lion logo that came straight from the LeBron Force. So um let's take this insert out. Let's take that insert out. On the inside, you just have LeBron's one of LeBron's OG kind of logos going on right there. The LJ with the crown on top of it. On the back it says, Never forget to hear the voice of the athlete. And that is a quote by Phil Knight. Never forget to hear the voice of an athlete because they're going to make it fire if you listen to them. Uh, I, I added the rest of that part myself. I like the fact that the up, like it brings it back. It's not a it's not a new basketball. It's a new basketball shoe, but it brings back the OG basketball shoe vibes with the suede on the upper, with the um with the air bubble unit down here, man. It kind of brings back vibes to the old Nike basketball sneakers. You got your swoosh right here. Um, you got your bottoms going on. Not a really big fan of the bottom. I don't really like this look right there. I, ain't, I never been a fan of these two pods, but I guess uh, LeBron needed them to play basketball. Anyway, got the uh. Got the uh, back strap right there. Ain't nothing special on that. But that's it, man. That's it. That is the LeBron 17 Graffiti. I'm going to show these things on feet. And then we're going to get up out of here. On feet, man. I hope they fit. This is a size 12, my true size. And the newer basketball sneakers are mostly, um, they, they known to run a little small. So we're going to see what these things fit like, man. So I know y'all want to see these on feet. So let me let y'all go ahead and check these things out on feet, man. Do it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> The LeBron 17 graffiti things on feet, man. These right here dope, bro. These are dope. Like, I decided to come outside on the deck. I know there's a little overcast out here, so I was like, bro, it might not be too hot. And it's pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? Wind blowing. But these are fine. Why? Clank, clank, cleanse, stamp of approval. Fire. Fire. Little booty, little ass shot. Cleanse, in my humble opinion. You feel me? Walk way to the corner. Out of it. Hey. Be hard though, man. So, as far as the fit's concerned, as far as the fit's concerned, they are true to size. They got plenty of toe room in them, which is crazy for a LeBron sneaker. LeBron sneakers, especially the newer ones, the newer technology, usually runs tight in the toe. But these got plenty of toe room. They are narrow, like for wide feet people. I don't know if you want to go size up, but it's, you know, it's, it's still a basketball shoe. It's still really snug, but plenty of toe room. So I'm surprised that the fit, they fit as good as they do. Dopeness, man. So, uh, a little walk by action going on. Walk by. Is this a basketball shoe? You know I got. Ah, you know I got to cross them up, Chuck. You know I got to cross them up. Spell it with LeBron things on. Got to cross them up. You feel me? So y'all comment below. Tell me what y'all think of these. I hope the lighting is good. I'm try to see if I can get a better. I don't know. I hope the lighting is good out here. I can barely see it on the camera because it has a glare on the on the uh, screen. But what y'all think, man? Comment below. Tell what y'all think. You copying? You going after them? Don't care. Go walk away. A little comeback. Wow. Tell me what y'all think of these things, man. You know I gotta hit you. I gotta hit you that round view. You know I gotta hit you with that round view. Round view. Bow. Bow. Cleansed. And my most humble. Opinion, man. They go to sign right there. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. So that was the LeBron 17 graffiti things on feet. Five boxes. This is my first time having one of these boxes right here. Just got the LeBron 17 and big bold crazy stuff. All kind of little design elements going on on the box. The shoe retail for $225. And that's what I paid. I got these off of oh, what the website I got. Because Nike, they, I want a 12 and a half, and Nike sold out. And the bigger size is pretty quick. I think they still got small sizes available now, but I got these off of East Bay. I got one off East Bay, a 12 off East Bay, and I got a 13 off of um, Finish Line. And Finish Line sold me the shoe, but ran out of stock after they sold me the shoe. So I don't really know how that worked, but I'm going to go ahead and if this 12 fits, I'm going to go ahead and keep the 12. I like the way the shoe look. 
dope sneaker in my humble opinion. You can wear it casually with like some tech fleece pants, uh, jogging suit, sweatsuit, whatever. I wouldn't wear it with no jeans and nothing like that. But um, it's a dope pair of sneakers, man. Y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think of them. Did y'all sleep? They still got sizes available for certain uh, sizes. Big sizes have been selling out lately for some reason. I have no idea what's going on with that. But anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching this video. Y'all hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation staying all the way up to the moon on them and keep watching the video. Cause this what I'm here for. Go Real, no phony. ATL homie. Shot my boy T.